Good day, students. My name is Ambale Rasa Kolabaji. I will be your physics teacher for today's lesson. Topic, electromagnetic induction. Objective, at the end of this lesson, learner should be able to analyze the concept of electromagnetic induction with emphasis on one, the concept of electromagnetic induction and Fleming's rule. Two, laws of electromagnetic induction. Three, conversion principle involved in both laws. And four, uses of induction coil. Electromagnetic induction or magnetic induction is the production of an electromotive force that is voltage across an electrical conductor in a changing magnetic field. Also, electromagnetic induction is a current produced because of voltage production due to a changing magnetic field. Fleming's left hand rule and right hand rule. When a current carrying conductor is placed under a magnetic field, a force acts on the conductor. The direction of this force can be identified using Fleming's left hand rule. Likewise, if a moving conductor is brought under a magnetic field, electric current will be induced in that conductor. The direction of the induced current can be found using Fleming's right hand rule. It is important to note that these rules do not determine the magnitude. Instead, shows only the direction of the theory parameters, magnetic field, current, and force. When the direction of the other two parameters is known, Fleming's left hand rule is mainly applicable to electric motor, and Fleming's right hand rule is mainly applicable to electric generator. Interpreting Fleming's right hand rule. Consider the diagram below. The term indicates the direction of the motion, the forefinger indicates the direction of the magnetic field, and the middle finger represents the direction of the induced current. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, when a moving conductor is placed inside the magnetic field, a current will be induced in it. If the conductor is forcefully moved inside the magnetic field, there will be a relationship between the direction of the applied force, magnetic field, and the current. This relation between these three directions is determined by Fleming's right hand rule. As shown in the diagram above, the right, the right hand rule requires you to 1. Hold the right hand forefinger, the middle finger, and the thumb at right angle to each other. If the forefinger represents the direction of the magnetic field, the thumb points in the direction of motion or applied force, then the middle finger points in the direction of the induced current. Interpreting Fleming's left hand rule. Consider the diagram shown above. The forefinger indicates the direction of the magnetic field. The middle finger indicates the direction of the current. And the thumb represents the direction of the motion. When a current carrying conductor is placed in an external magnetic field, the conductor experiences a force perpendicular to both the field and to the direction of the current flow. A left hand can be held as shown, the, as shown in the illustration so as to represent three mutually orthogonal axes on the thumb, the forefinger, and the middle finger. We will break here and go for break. After the break, we shall continue. Thank you.
you are welcome back. Interpreting Flemish left hand draw. The forefinger indicates the direction of the magnetic field, the middle finger indicates the direction of the current, and the thumb represents the direction of the motion. When the current carrying conductor is placed in an external magnetic field, the conductor experiences a force perpendicular to both the field and to the direction of the current flow. A left hand can be aired as shown in the illustration so as to represent three mutually orthogonal axes on the thumb, forefinger and the middle finger. Hold out your left hand with a forefinger, second finger and the thumb perpendicular to each other. If the forefinger represents the direction of the field and the second finger represents that of the current, then thumb gives the direction of the force. Differences between Fleming's left hand and right hand rule. Left hand rule. It was invented by John Ambrose Fleming's. Right hand rule. It was invented by John Ambrose Fleming's. Under left hand rule, it is used for electric motor. Under right hand rule, it is used for electric generator. Under left hand rule, the purpose of the rule to find the direction of motion in an electric motor. Under right hand rule, the purpose of the rule is to find the direction of induced current when the current moves in a magnetic field. Under left hand rule, the thumb represents the direction of the thrust on the conductor. Under right hand rule, the thumb represents the direction of motion of the conductor. Under left hand rule, the index finger represents the direction of the magnetic field. Under right hand rule, the index finger represents the direction of the magnetic field. Under left hand rule, the middle finger represents the direction of the current. Under right hand rule, the middle finger represents the direction of the induced current. Laws of electromagnetic induction. Number one, Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. The presence of a current in a cycle signify the presence of an EMF. Thus, the idea, the idea of an induced current also gave rise to the idea of an induced EMF. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction focuses on induced EMF. It states that the induced EMF in a cycle is proportional to the rate of change of the number of line of force linking the cycle. Mathematically, induced EMF is proportional to change in number of line of force over time taking. I repeat, the induced EMF in a cycle is proportional to the rate of change of the number of line of force linking the cycle. Mathematically, the induced EMF is proportional to the change in number of line of force over time taking. Uh, we are going to stop here and go for a break. After the break, we shall continue. Thank you. We are on law of, of electromagnetic induction. Lenz's law is explained on the basis of law of conversion of energy, which states that one type of energy must be expended if we are to obtain another type of energy. That is, we don't create energy from nothing. Therefore, the induced current obtained below 
must flow in such a way as to give the end of the coil near the magnet the appropriate pole, north or south pole, that will oppose the motion producing it. That will oppose the motion producing it. Look at the diagram properly and we see the motion produced. We see how the current is opposing. The direction of the current is opposing the motion causing it. Uses of induction coil. Number one, induction coil is being used in the investigation of high voltage and the study of electric discharge through gases. Two, it is also being used in radio transmitter. Three, it is also being used in operating X-ray tube. And finally, in the application to the coil ignition system of motor vehicle. Assignment. State Fleming's left hand rule. Number two. State Lenz's law and Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. And number three. What factors influence the magnitude of the EMF? What factor influence the magnitude of the EMF? Thank you.